Hey guys, welcome to the game that makes it so the beginner towers of Arena Tower Defense can solo master mode, and I'm here to prove it on now. So the towers you need is Teresa, the two free towers, Sergeant and Sniper, or Rare Gunner, the best name. And then we got Magician, which is comes to a cost of 750 gold and 750 XP, I believe, if uh, this stupid skin thing. Uh, 750 and 750 gold so basically the cheapest master mode strategy you, you can get out there so it's actually not on alpha roads so you're gonna go on void lane and the obviously it's gonna be master mode and uh, yeah let's start and okay, once you load in I loaded it in late so once you load in place sergeant four sergeants right here um, right here yep and now now you want to save up for more uh, two more sergeants and you want to place it here so, um, yeah, did you guys notice anything? I said I have a new mic, guys. Um, hopefully my new mic is better, because I read all your comments about my mic being garbage. Ah, oh, yeah, ooh, this is painful to watch. Please stop talking. And, um, my response to that, my reaction to that information is, um, 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 that's actually a good one. What would my reaction to that information be? And after you get six uh, sergeants basically doing 12 damage when they all shoot, uh, you want to save up for Sarita and place it right here. So, uh, yeah. You don't have to have auto skip on for the strap, but like, um, yeah. But, anyways, do you, what do you guys think of the Iran Tower Defense meta? Like, um,. Like, you could quite literally win. Like, just get someone in the carry you in one game and get Sarisa and Magician. Because these towers are free. Both of these towers are free. Before anyone asks, no, you cannot, you cannot get the Sergeant skin anymore. So please, just save your breath. And now you want to place down a Sarisa now. And now you want to save up for a Rail Gunner. It is Rail Gunner. I don't care what Billy B or anyone else says. It's Rail Gunner. And you want to place it right here. So, uh, yeah. And, yeah, you can turn on auto skip, but it's a lot more riskier. And now, guys, this is where the strategy becomes super easy. If you fail this strategy, I'm going to cry for you, dude. I'm going to cry for you. How do you, like, I don't see how anyone could mess this up. Because you're spending about the entire game getting a mastery sniper. And after that, you just get, um... You just get like a magician, and it, it really isn't that deep. And it, it it scares me that people can't beat like my grandmaster strategy. People think it's outdated because they lose. Like it's not that deep. Just win, dude. It, quite literally not that deep. But anyways, I already explained. You just want to get the uh, the sniper upgrade to uh, level max, no mastery or whatever you call it. Um. Yeah, good boy, what is it called? Void Lance, that's what it's called. Void Lance. By the way, before anyone says, like, uh, why aren't you utilizing the Pierce of the Sniper? That's a bunch of nerd. I'm joking. It's just, like, I found it pretty optimal to place it here, and I don't want, like, my strategy to be purely reliant on Pierce. I know you could probably go for faster times if you put it here, but, like, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but like if you want to play, if you want to risk it, you can place your uh, real gunner right here, so um, you can try to get faster time. It's just like if it if an enemy comes right here, you're screwed. <laughs> you're quite literally screwed. So um, yeah, but anyways, um, is it just me? But like after school, like I don't know about you, but like there is water fountains in my school, but like I just don't want to go there because the water tastes like plastic. So let's get real. But anyways, when I come back home from school, I'm like. Mm, dude, I could go for a glass of water or like a bottle of water, a bottle of water. <laughs> and, but like, uh, yeah, I could go for a cup, bottle, whatever of water, and uh, yeah, I, I would drink it, right? And um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I came home from school like two hours. It's already 5 p.m. Oh, like two hours ago, and yeah, I got water. So shout out to water. Stay hydrated, guys. Stay hydrated used to be a huge meme in the Discord server, which you guys should join. But anyway, guys, you by, on Wave 21, on Wave 21, sell your sniper. Oh my gosh, dude, it's disabled. This game sucks, guys. This game sucks. Nah, I'm just kidding. But yeah, don't you can't really sell your sniper. This also works on Apocalypse and hard mode. So if you want to grind those game modes too, 
this you that were if I could talk by the way this wave is like so useless because the only thing that spawns is um um hidden voids or hit yeah they're hidden voids you name a game or not not a name a game name a tower that doesn't have hidden detection like that's that's gonna be a hard feat I'm pretty sure every tower in arena tower defense has a um has a skin anyways uh we're already five minutes in and we basically got like the first 25 waves so that's pretty cool and yeah there is something you have to do on wave 36 but you guys will wait and see what you will do on wave 36 so uh yeah it's not that deep it's just on wave 36 you will use Teresa ability but like if you're watching this video while doing this strategy, which I know a lot of people do because, like, you got- If you got- The only logical way you can lose it is, like, watching the video, right? Watching the video and doing the strat, because, like, yeah. The, the, especially for this one. See, unlike my Grandmaster one, uh, oh, did anyone see that? Like, Sniper was shooting this way for, like, five hours. Did anyone see- uh, Oh, right, anyways. But, yeah, like, you, like, yeah, that's- really what you do like for this strategy it's not that deep like you literally do one thing for like the entire game ex save for like i don't know okay maybe i shouldn't use advanced grammar maybe i'm just not built for, like that but anyways yeah um yeah like besides wave 36 you don't need to use Cerisa ability in, in this entire strategy basically because after auto uh auto rail or something something 9000 you basically won and yeah i i don't i don't like this balance though like what is this you, you literally just get someone to carry you for one match and boom you win you you win Literally, I could make a strategy without Magician, but that one takes a bunch of nerd crap, such as using Sergeant's ability and stuff. So, uh, yeah. This is when, um, healer voids actually become dangerous, but, like, once they reach right there, oh, yeah, all of them die, so, yeah. Anyways, get ready to use Cerisa abilities right as wave 36 starts, but, yeah, this wave is pretty useless on its own. And now use Cerisa abilities, not now, but wait for 36, and now use it, and boom, it's gonna shred the enemies, woo. And now, oh yeah, that is, that is one shotting. Yeah. And now it's, it's back to mid, <laughs> it's back to mid. Anyways, yeah, one, once Rail Gunner gets to this, it becomes pretty OP, like when it gets to this area, it becomes really OP. So, uh, yeah, I don't even might make a side to you where I abuse the Pierce with Sniper. But, yeah, anyways, you, you want to, like, just grind because you're pretty close. If you want to skip this wave, feel free to because you'll get auto roller 9000. And now that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much going to carry the next, like, 45 waves or something. Yeah, you're basically going to spawn kill with auto roller 9000. Uh, Beefy Void is just going to get absolutely dominated by Cerisa. Honestly, and also Rail Gunner, of course, but like, yeah. But Rail Gunner at this angle is pretty good because it like spawn kills, like, as you can see. Yeah, it's practically spawn killing. So it is abusing the Pierce a little too, so it is abusing Pierce. Uh, yeah, okay, that wave was. That, that wave was scarily easy. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, what is this balance though? Like, what is that arena balance? Like, oh! You know what? Yeah, I say I think making uh making the beginner towers be able to solo um ma uh, master mode is a great idea. And I heard someone saying, "Oh yeah, getting every tower is a good thing because like it's easy to get because it's a good thing you have you get to use." No, that's not a good thing. Like literally, I like to feel accomplished for my gold. That's why a lot of people like arena tower defense badges because like you you try hard for it. You 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 set yourself a goal and you got the badge. But in arena tower defense, you just play like one hour of like um, endless mode and boom, yeah, wow, guys. Wow, yay, woo, yay, I got the bag, uh, I got, I got every tower, no, like, there needs to be a sense of worse to the towers, like, like, if, you, there is nothing without the wor worse, <laughs> worse, I sound like saying worse, but, oh, wow, that's not even how you spell it, worse, but I'm saying, worse. Oh my gosh, I suck it. I'm not gonna even spell worse. There, there you go. I suck with R's, guys, so there you guys know. There you guys go. 
another 999 dang effect, but yeah. But like, there's no value to the tower, let's just say that. And I like to feel accomplished for my tower, for like, say, TDS. I like to feel accomplished, because I got Accelerator. I know it was pain to get, but when I got it, it was so worth it, so... Yeah, it, it, it made the tower, like, you know, sp feel special, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, Rena really needs to do that, but, like, yeah. I, 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 honestly, the game is way too in, and I, I feel like Arena, like, made itself stuck. Like, the game is really stuck right now. It can't really escape its, like, hole it's built. <laughs> Just to put it in that term, like, it made a hole for itself to be an easy game, and the only reason to play it is either badges and, or... Uh, events and that that's why I feel like arena kind of just trapped himself in like a minecraft bedrock trap Ooh, but yeah and um yeah we're gonna we're gonna just shredding guys just absolutely shredding see I wouldn't advise auto skip but like I said in the start of video um you can uh turn off skip because like that wave yeah that wave was pretty intense if you ask me because yeah you could uh, you could of course do auto skip but abuse Teresa abilities but like for these waves just skip it because like what what are, what are two enemies gonna do let's get real as uh yeah this is where like this is where real gunner becomes op and over here is where real gunner be uh becomes op and yeah these enemies will punch through but like like i said wow once they get here they're gonna die wow whoa look at that look at that dude and yeah there you go they do punch through but like we still get the benefit off of the range of rail gunner that's why um that's why i pick void lane because like it basically covers every inch of the map no it doesn't basically it does it just does cover every inch of the map but hey level level 12 cerisa is like quite cracked in my opinion like it's one of the best upgrades for cerisa not gonna lie yeah these enemies now become no problem and uh yeah we are finally so close to void lands at 11 minutes wow this strategy actually might be faster than my five by five strategy with um with um artillery spitter and necromancer and beacon of course but that's very expensive compared to like this strategy where it's cheap like cheap cheaper than cheap so uh yeah as, yeah, you, I wouldn't advise skipping this wave because that's very dangerous and boom now now this wave is technically a free wave Just it's like a wave to get like level 6 sniper. Let's get real guys mm, And now you're shredding yeah, like this wave is pretty cheap in how it oh that pierce is really good right there The pierce becomes really OP and these cloak guys are like not that bad honestly but the beefy voids, they do punch through, but like, again, you're gonna get this upgrade which shreds anything in sight. And you get the upgrade, and that's gonna solo for like the next wave, 50 waves. Now you wanna play some Magician right here, and now get it to max level. So yeah, that's basically what, or mastery level to be specific, but that's what you wanna do for the entire game. So, um, yeah. Which is quite sad to see. Like, this is beginner towers. You're not supposed to be playing like this. This is beginner towers, dude. Beginners. It's not like, oh, yeah, pros only master mode. You know, honestly, you could make a speed run strategy with these towers. Like, let's get real, guys. Yeah, Magician becomes really OP here. Like, it's bouncing cards. Just mm, so juicy, dude. Like, look at that. The ricochet is so insane. I love that. Uh, dealing minor damage to their enemies around. Wait, what? Throws faster and cards let out a burst of sharpness every bounce. Wow! I didn't even know that was real. <laughs> I didn't even know that was real on Magician. Wow, Magician is so good, dude. Like, these are beginner towers, man. Like, they don't deserve to be this good, but they are good. Except for, say, Sergeant. Sergeant is, uh, okay. Uh, you could say, okay. Yeah, this is where uh, Magician becomes really OP. And once you get it to this upgrade, it's going to become really OP. Shout out to the notification that made my fall, uh, my phone fell, fall, if I could talk. The notifications that made my phone fall was an eBay notification. So, um, you heard it here, guys. 
Hey guys, so do you guys play, uh, you guys play Roblox? So, do you, uh, you play Roblox? Um, dude, no, do you play Roblox? Hey guys, how would you rate my mic experience on a scale of 1 to 10, dude? And by the way, whenever you're in danger, just use Sharisa, uh, Sharisa's ability, because, like, it's not that deep, guys. I don't think you would be in danger, but the only reason you would be in danger was probably auto-skipping, but, like, this strategy isn't recommended for auto-skipping. I love the lead noises of Arena, dude. I, the sound design in this game is really bad. But I don't blame Billy, because Billy is a solo dev, for the most part. For the most part, I guess. Um, and, yeah, there's a really small team behind Arena, let's just say that. I love the lead sounds, but come on, dude. The, the, can you, like, look on... You don't even have to pay anyone. Go on Royal, Royalty Free Sounds, and it's not that deep, guys. Like, come on, Arena. Just go on Royalty Free Sounds, all right, dude? Just come on. Replace the lead noise for something else. It, it's like shaking a box of Tic Tacs, dude. It's really bad. Magician range is actually quite small. Except for... Honestly, I was gonna say all the range of the beginner towers are quite small. Has anyone noticed that? Sergeants is pretty small. You never want to get a level one. Level one sergeant. I don't care if the whole sergeant tower gets reworked, but level one sergeant definitely needs a rework, no matter what anyone says. I'm just gonna skip that quick wave because why not? But like level one sergeant, it's like just range, just range. Like what is that? What 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 is that like? Why? As magician is going to work. Honestly, this might be you know, you could probably get if I if I bring in beacon or something, we could probably get a back pain strat, if you know what I mean. Like, uh yeah, anyways, uh Cerisa's doing some great damage. sniper, rail gunner, dude. It's just rail gunner, it's doing amazing damage for what for what it is for what it is man dude it is juicy look at that ricochet that's like up to nine enemies holy crap so let's just skip that wave because why not because why not why why is this wave just a bunch of armored large voids that is oh never mind this wave is still useless though get real Um, yeah, it's getting, we're, we're shredding the enemy, you guys. I'm gonna skip this wave, and now you get Mastery Magician on wave 73. I mean, I would hope, you guys. And, uh, yeah, you guys should just start to shred. This is, th this is a rare tower defense game, uh, got game. <laughs> well, I'm not wrong saying that, but this is a rare tower defense. Uh, beating, beating hardest game modes with, uh, beginner towers. You cannot mess this up, guys. Like, this strategy is one of the easiest strategies I've ever pumped out in my entire uh, YouTube career. I can't talk. I, I, I can't talk. Career. That's what I'm trying to say. This is the easiest strategy I pumped out ever. It's literally basically level zero plus. So just think about it level zero plus. Because when a John code existed, yeah. It is pretty cool. Yeah. They like, uh, I don't understand how anyone could lose my strat. So, yeah. Anyways, this is the magician carry. Magician plus, um, railgunner carry wave. See, I tried the strategy without magician. You died on wave 75. So, uh, yeah. I do test my. Do, uh, you. I used to, like, just YOLO my strats, but now I'm more calculated in my strategies. I. Calculated. I calculate. But anyways, uh, you could just spend the rest of your money on either sergeants or getting Cerisa to max. I would just recommend Cerisa max, because, duh. And, uh, yes. What, what, where, okay. Alright, alright, I, 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 you know, I, I, I don't know. Ricochet on Cerisa at max is just stupid OP. <laughs> and now this is... And this is where the game becomes really safe to skip. So like, you, this is like the end game, and boom, it is really easy to skip. For 20, I'm assuming this strat's gonna be 20 minutes long. For for 20 minutes, man, this. Oh no, it's actually gonna be like 19, maybe. Like for for this short of a strategy, man. No, for this cheap of a strategy, let's back. Let's get a mastery sergeant for no reason. 
why not guys just why not guys I mean you don't need it like you don't need it so um yeah anyways um now you want to just call in Teresa ability and stampede uh, that was a bad time to call the Teresa ability but again it is not needed to uh win the game and uh yeah 720 damage nice dude let's use the uh the ability wow dude whoa OP dude, OP, wow, wow, P, wow, Sergeant, Sergeant did 99% of the damage, dude, Sergeant carry, dude, Sergeant did 99% of the damage, dude, wow, guys, oh, there is also a new hide button, so, uh, that's pretty cool, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, um, this is the easiest master mode strategy, you can't get easier than this, you, you only focus on three towers technically, and you don't really focus on Teresa, you, you only use her ability like twice, and then, then you, you really focus on two towers for like, like the entire game, so if you lose, I'm going to cry for you dude, uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, um, I hope to see you again, and this is one of my strategies that I, one of many strategies I'm gonna upload soon, and, uh, yeah, and if you're a newbie watching this, I would recommend going endless, but you're gonna die, like, in five ways, trust me, Tr trust me, Tr trust me.